Hi, Facebookers. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here today. It took me a while. I've been procrastinating this message. <laughs> and then I was having some technical difficulties. But it feels good today. It's my birthday. Yay. And I feel like this message is uh, pretty connected to that. So why it's important to be authentically your yourself, not anybody else. All right. So it's important to be you because you're going to inspire others to do the same. So I think of people I look up to right now or I have in the past and, you know, it's because they have values and they stand for things, right? I love someone like Oprah and she's authentically herself. She shares her raw, real self. And once you do that, and you say, here's what I'm doing, here I am, other people are going to like that, and they're going to be like, well, why am I not doing that? <laughs> so it's really powerful to show other people that they can go after what they want. Right? They're just deciding to go after things. They don't have secret magic sauce. They just decide. Uh, two, it's going to make your soul so much happier, <laughs> okay? You're going to be in aligned with what your soul really wants to do and what you're really meant to do on this earth, okay? For example, if you are hanging out with friends who, you know, just do things that don't make you feel really good and you hang out with them a lot, Chances are you're feeling like out of alignment. You're like, mm, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> but once you hang out with people who really light you up and you love to be around and you listen to and you want to talk with them and learn from them, that feels a lot more like I'm alive and let's go. You know what I'm saying? Um, literally in the last month, even week, I would say, I heard from someone who is older than me, maybe 30-ish, say something like, you know, when we were in high school, we just wanted to be adults, and now I'm an adult, and I just want to be back in school. And <laughs> yes, thank you, Leanne, yes. And I literally talked to a third grader, a guy who's still an elementary kid, who's still in elementary school, and he, it was Friday, and he was so excited for the weekend. And if you're anything like me, you're just not going to settle for anything less than what you really want, right? I, I can't just say, here's my time, and I feel like I'm wasting it. I need to feel like, okay, I'm excited to go do this. I enjoy doing this. And I think by being yourself, it's just easier to connect to that, right? Because you're spending your time doing things that make you feel good. Um... What did I mean by that? Sorry, I wrote them on a sticky note over here. Um, oh, all right, so this is kind of point number three. But I'm telling you right now that your place of employment tells you what your worth is from their perspective, right? They say your time to us is worth this dollar amount. <laughs> and again, I just think it's a little ridiculous I would say, no, I know what my time and my value is worth, okay? So I use my gifts to really fill that out and say, this is what I'm worth, you know? I believe I should be compensated for this, and here are my gifts that I can provide. Um, so I do, looking at like more and more coaches online, I see that money is more related to the value that they put out instead of this one hourly wage that's like, you know, set and not going to change. Personally, I always liked um, like those courage retreats at school. <laughs> like I was all about them, okay? And I think being older now, I'm realizing that it's because those conversations are what's going to change the world, okay? having real conversations about, you know, if it's post-traumatic stress or gaining a lot of weight or um, Alcoholics Anonymous, you know, like that's where real change really comes into play. And I think it's life skills that are learned there too, not just skills that we don't really use anymore, like math <laughs> or things like that, right? So I just want to tap into that space and I realize, hey, wow, I'm good at bringing people together. And 
also realizing I have a voice to actually start some of these conversations and getting out there and connecting to people. And it feels great. It feels like I'm aligned with what I'm here for, you know, instead of being told what to do and here's all the things that you can do and just don't do anything else. <laughs> um, you know, I've always liked going to bed early. I really learned that at a high school age. Like I like going to bed early and waking up early. <laughs> and I also learned, you know, I never wanted to be like the kid who used substances or drink really. I, alcohol just hurts my body a lot, okay? But getting these messages from my peers on the social media and movies, like you have to, in high school, go out and drink all the time and go to bed really late. And then you just feel like you're not worth anything, right? Because those are all the messages that you're getting, which is ridiculous. We need to feel like we're valued. So a big epiphany I've had and what has really helped me and I think is going to help a lot of other people is hang out with people who make you feel good, right? I like to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people, deep conversations with people, deep stuff, not a surface level BS that I'm not interested in. So tap into that, listen to your intuition, okay? What's another example? If you know like you're really good at working with your hands or you love cars or, you know, artistry, I think that's a good one. People who are artists know that that's what they want to do, but people in society say like, well, you're not going to make any money doing that. Okay, well, that may be true, but I, at least I love what I'm doing <laughs> instead of sitting in an office and like hating what I'm doing, right? So... Anyway, um, and I think kind of tying everything together and what kind of makes sense with everything is that you have gifts, talents, experiences that nobody else has, okay? So since nobody else can live this exact life that you have been, you are going to learn things and how you react to them, whether it's good or bad, you learn something. And you can either show people that it does work, you know, and things went well, and people are going to want to copy that, or you kind of send out that message to somebody else, well, this didn't work, and I really didn't handle it well, all right? So use your experiences, your past traumas. It takes a while to get through those. I know that. <laughs> but please know on the other side, you're going to heal and you can connect to a lot of people. And then you can create spaces, right, where people feel safe. And then you can be someone who shows them, you know, it doesn't always have to be that way. So if this made sense to you, give me a thumbs up or a like. Comment when you want next time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to enjoy my birthday party tonight, and I'll see you soon.